Tomo News presents Icebergs. More worrying news from Antarctica. NASA reports that an iceberg about the size of Delaware split off from Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf between July 10th and July 12th. Scientists warn that the breakoff could trigger new ice cracks and cause even more icebergs to separate from the shelf. Ice shelves are the floating parts of glaciers that act as a support mechanism. In a stable glacier ice shelf system, the glacier's downhill movement is offset by the buoyant force of the water at the ice shelf front. The system is destabilized when warmer temperatures melt both the surface and underside of the ice shelves, and this eventually leads to calving. However, collapsed ice shelves do not directly contribute to sea level rise as they float. Once the ice shelves are calved, the buoyant force that previously offset glacier flow is gone, and the glacier can slide into the ocean to rapidly affect sea levels. Experts say the remaining 90% of the Larsen ice shelf is held in place by the Bodden ice rise to the north of the rift and Gipps ice rise to the south. Therefore, the ice shelf is unlikely to collapse in the near term. Huge trillion ton Antarctic iceberg now adrift at sea. A mega iceberg that had broken off from Antarctica is now drifting out to sea. Oh, great. A massive iceberg around the size of Delaware that had broken off from Antarctica is now floating out into the Weddell Sea. Recent satellite photos show the A68 iceberg appearing to move away from the Larsen Sea ice shelf. It's over 2,200 square miles, weighs about a trillion tons, and has a volume twice that of Lake Erie. Experts say the iceberg will break up into smaller pieces and float northeast as it makes its way out into the open waters of the Southern Ocean. Scientists are concerned the smaller pieces could then drift into shipping lanes. Pieces too small to track by satellite could pose major risks to passing ships. Some researchers have said the calving of the iceberg was a normal event and not caused by global warming. Mega iceberg breaks up with Antarctica. This is the winter wonderland known as Antarctica, and it just lost a whole lot of volume. This week, an iceberg broke apart from the Pine Island Glacier in Antarctica. Loss of ice from the glacier contributes to a one millimeter rise in the world's oceans every eight years. The part that broke apart is said to be 4.5 times the size of New York's Manhattan Island. And the word is, glaciers are a much cooler place to live than Manhattan. Iceberg ahead. All eyes are on the ice, as an Antarctic ice shelf that's thousands of years old is days away from shedding a massive berg. Cracks on Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf were first noticed in 2010. The rift has grown rapidly since 2016, with only three miles of ice keeping the chunk connected to the main shelf. When it eventually gives way, the resulting iceberg will be one of the largest on record. Estimated to be about 190 meters thick, the iceberg contains enough ice to fill 460 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. The colossal mass of ice won't raise sea levels when it breaks off, but it might make the rest of the shelf less stable, possibly leading it to disintegrate and collapse into the sea. If this happens, some scientists believe an ancient glacier currently being held back by the ice shelf could raise sea levels by about four inches. Scientists say icebergs calving from Antarctica are not terribly uncommon, but they'll be monitoring this one as it drifts from the ice shelf due to its large size. These penguins might be wiped out because of an iceberg. A giant glacier is wiping out an entire colony of penguins. Short of it being destroyed or moving elsewhere, there's not much that can be done to save the birds. In 2010, the Rhode Island-sized iceberg B09B became grounded near a colony of Adelie penguins in East Antarctica. The iceberg blocked the penguins' access to the sea and their access to food. To find food, the flightless birds had to make an 80-mile round-trip journey in harsh Antarctic weather. Because of this hazardous trek, the colony's population has withered over 90% from 160,000 to 10,000 now. In research published in the journal Antarctic Science, scientists say the colony could be wiped out unless the iceberg moves elsewhere or the sea ice breaks up. Adelie penguins have lived and bred in the area for more than a century. Do you think humans should try to save them? Or should we let nature take its course and see what happens? 
Four American tourists will have something to write home about on this trip. The tourists were visiting a glacial lagoon in Iceland and set up for a dinner picnic. Once it settled, a gust of wind blew in and caused the ice to crack and break off completely. One member of the group managed to get away and call for help. Rescuers arrived to find the diners patiently waiting on their icy island, 32 feet from the shore. The unidentified tourists did finish their dinner and escape the iceberg unharmed. Iceberg six times the size of Manhattan drifting towards Southern Ocean. Scientists are monitoring one of the largest icebergs currently in existence after it broke off from an Antarctic glacier and began drifting into the open ocean. The giant iceberg could pose a threat to shipping during the Antarctic winter. The iceberg, labeled B-31, measures about 660 square kilometers and is said to be roughly six times the size of Manhattan. It is estimated to be around a third of a mile or 500 meters thick. Since November 2013, it has slowly separated from Antarctica's Pine Island Glacier and will likely soon be swept up in the currents of the Southern Ocean. Researchers are concerned that when that happens, the iceberg will become more difficult to track. And since they don't expect it to melt due to its size, the iceberg could hang around for a year or even more. A crack was found in the Pine Island Glacier in July. Over the last few days, an iceberg has begun breaking away from the glacier. A kilometer of clear water can now be seen between it and the glacier. The iceberg is as big as Singapore. It is currently being tracked through the Drake Passage. If it follows its current trajectory, it will enter international shipping lanes. Seabed life doubles in ocean warming research. A team of British and American scientists investigating the impact of ocean warming on marine life did just that, warmed up the ocean. Scientists placed heated panels on the seabed near the UK's Rothera research station on the Antarctic Peninsula. The panels heated the water a few millimeters above them for a year, with researchers checking in and photographing the area periodically. Researchers found the amount of sea life there had doubled after a rise of one degree Celsius. But after an increase of two degrees Celsius, only certain species continued to grow. The encrusting bryozoan grew almost twice as fast under the experimental warmer conditions. The scientists say the results provide insight into what species of seabed life will survive as the oceans continue warming over the coming century. 